someone that is like a puzzle, you know, someone that can puzzle you guys indeed, fragmentation. I think that some of you can be already tired of the game that this person constantly brought up, you know, along your connection. Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for those of you who are still dealing with your ex. Now, I know the topic can trigger a lot of reactions, but some of you may still have doubts about giving a particular person a new chance in the romantic arena, and so we will investigate the energies to clear the air a little bit more. Let's see what we can get. So guys, let's take a look at what was the problem between you and your ex. We got these oracle cards, forgetting oneself, the child I was meant to be, and fragmentation. So guys, especially this last oracle card is offering me the feeling about the opportunity to deal with a partner that can be difficult to read, difficult to comprehend. Some of you may have the chance to evaluate carefully, I would say, the opportunity to reconnect with an ex that can be complicated. They can change their mind multiple times. They can say one thing and then they can do the opposite. They always uh, tend to have an explanation for their changes of mind. This is a mechanism that can drain a lot of energies out of the person that is called to handle a connection with someone that works in this way. Forgetting oneself seems to be almost a direct consequence of a connection like this one. Some of you maybe have gone through this process. This ex was almost a catalyst in your life and they drained away so much energies out of you guys that you lost the track of your needs at some point. Because this person was so needy, you know, of attention, of help, of things, you know, that maybe you could provide at the time. But there was an unbalanced interaction at the core of the connection. The child I was meant to be. This is an interesting oracle card, guys, because it can be about issues about childhood. If not for you, maybe for your ex. We can think about a connection that can begin because one of the two uh, people involved can see in the other one a figure that maybe was missing in the early stages of the life journey. And so in order to balance things out, the connection started kind of hoping for the best, but in reality, it was a doomed deal from the very beginning. What worked in this connection, it seems, was the sexual side of it. Spark Oracle card, plus we got a couple of energies that uh, can be in alignment, let's say, with a certain level of satisfaction if we think about a sex-based connection, but there is a double-edged sword even about that concept because maybe betrayals were involved at some point. And so this can be another deal breaker maybe for some of you. So current energies for your ex, three of cups, two of swords, clarified by the five of pentacles. They would like to have another chance with you. They are thinking about a reunion, the three of cups energy, but we also know that the three of cups can describe a third party situation sometimes. If that was the case, if there were betrayals involved in the connection in the past, that was or those betrayals were the reason of a broken trust. In the Five of Pentacles, in this version of the Five of Pentacles, we have multiple shields broken in a battlefield. If we think about a broken trust, it can be difficult to think about the chance to give a romantic connection another try. Mending old wounds, this can describe some of you guys, disappointed by how the connection uh, developed itself. And maybe 
disappointed by how the connection ended. There is also another warrior that is leaving the battlefield, someone that went away. If it was your person that pursued side connections, uh, they made that decision consciously. So we cannot forget that. Now they can be aware of the fact that there is a crossroads in front of them if they want to reconnect with you. The Two of Swords is also a recurrent energy. If the Two of Swords is an energy that you resonate with, you can be closed off, but this person can be someone that is not available to say everything. They are unable to offer clarity in favor of a connection. And this is a major, major issue, guys. It can be truly a problem because we cannot work together. If we are not honest, how can we work together? And so how they see the connection, eight of cups, six of pentacles clarified by the two of swords. They went away, the eight of cups, leaving behind a situation that was not perceived as a complete source of fulfillment in order to pursue elsewhere. Other type of opportunities, there is the moon in the background, another recurrent energy. The six of pentacles is a one man up, one man down dynamic, so this person took advantage of you in many different ways. Lacking attention, lacking cooperation, going behind your back, pursuing other connections without letting you know, of course, and then um, an ugly truth coming out. That's why they are aware of the fact that you can be extremely cautious. In this version of the Two of Swords, we have a lady that is wearing a wolf cap. So she is basically pretending to be stronger than she is, maybe. We have two hanged men in the background of the card. So a stuck situation. The connection has been put on hold for a while, at least from the perspective of your ex. They can be hopeful that it can be possible to reconnect. But at the same time, guys, we can even flip the concept and we can say that your ex can be a wolf in sheep's clothing. And we come back to the fragmentation oracle card. Someone that can be like a puzzle, you know, a jigsaw puzzle. A lot of pieces, extremely difficult to find the, the best possible combination. It can change every time, you know? And so, what's their angle? The moon, the temperance clarified by the Ace of Wands. The moon shows up again, the unknown. Lies, doubts, questions, indecision, fear, you know? This person is not able to be transparent. They would love to work things out with you, the temperance, which is an energy about healing. We can say that it's a divine alchemy for me, the opportunity to find agreements that can be productive and successful in the long run. There is a big problem. The problem is represented by the Ace of Wands. The angle of your ex is the Spark Oracle card, the sexual side of your connection. They want you because they missed the moments, you know, the intimate moments, guys. They miss the sex part of the connection. It is what it is. I have to say that. So they can try to put on a nice face in order to get things going with you. But at the end of the day, <laughs> the moon can be a major, major red flag, you know, because this person can say that they are still passionate about you. They cannot live without you. Fantastic. Amazing words. Unfortunately, we have a set of experiences about the connection that are most definitely not in favor of the opportunity to agree to manifest a reunion, a reconciliation. And that's why I usually say um, that for me, reunion, reconciliation are just words. They are labels. If you are familiar with our channel, you may be already aware of that. If we have to evaluate the opportunity to try again um, with an old lover. We cannot make the decision only because it can be cool to reunite, you know? It's cool to manifest a reconciliation. All right, maybe, 
what we have to evaluate uh, can be factors like the effort, the intentions, uh, the level of seriousness, the vision that can be available. Otherwise, there can be a huge risk to fall once again for the same old problems that we have already managed to release. This is the point, if you ask me. Blockages for the connection, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, clarified by the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords, guys, can be an energy about anxiety. In this version, I want to show you. It can be about a betrayal or multiple betrayals. All these swords in the back of the warrior. If there is no trust, there cannot be love. If there is no trust and there is no love, what's the point in reigniting a flame of sex? The Queen of Cups should be an encouragement in your favor in order to evaluate carefully the intentions of your ex um, if and when they reach out. The Queen of Cups can do that. She can see through an act in order to evaluate if the intentions granted in favor of an interaction can truly be genuine and sincere to find success moving forward. The ability to see through an act is also a talent of the Queen of Wands. She is intuitively guided. She has a black cat as a best friend. You have to trust your gut, guys, because in a situation like this one, your intuition is going to scream for your attention. If you broke free from a connection like this one, there are going to be multiple factors that can basically resurface all of a sudden, and you are going to be called to remember those factors that you have already overcome. Then, guys, there can still be, for some of you, a spark of attraction, a spark of passion, a spark of desire, maybe of lust, uh, when it comes to this particular ex. Some of you may have to face the challenge to resist a temptation. It is what it is. Because your person is thinking about the opportunity to have sex with you once again. They still want it. And they can find a way to offer it as a token, you know? There is going to be a test for some of you guys. Uh, but what is the lesson of the connection? We got the Four of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Maybe some of you were married to this person. The connection was set in a way that was good from the outside, you know? It's like when we see certain pictures on social media from certain people that we may know. Uh, everything seems perfect in their life, you know? But then behind the curtains, the situation can be extremely different. And this is basically what this connection um, has represented in the past for some of you. Other people maybe were thinking that everything was fine, everything was on point, but in reality, it was a whole different ball game for those of you involved directly in the connection. That's why the Four of Cups is a major energy in this flow. There can be a divine offer. Let's say an apology, let's say an offer to reconcile. But we have one more time the three cups down below, the current energy that we got. The past. What cannot be forgotten. We cannot forget what happened, basically. And the past is going to play a huge role in the overall evaluation that some of you will have to make about this connection. Whatever promise um, about practical things, you know, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, is not going to be enough. If you have been reasonable and agreeable in the past, um, some of you basically learned the hard way that the ability to find agreements in a partnership should always be a two-way street. There cannot be one that is on a higher level, you know, and the other one that uh, basically uh, becomes only a yes man or a yes woman, you know, because they constantly agree to what uh, their partner says. Uh, this is not healthy. A situation that works in this way is doomed from the very beginning. It's just a matter of time before it implodes. And then there can be consequences that can be different according to the scenario. But 
they are uh, most definitely not pleasant consequences. So guys, let's ask for guidance. Let's do it together, considering these energies. If you ask me, this reunion is not meant to be. And this can be a final test for some of you. You will have to display strength, willpower, and you will have to stay true to yourself. You cannot forget yourself in order to please another person. Integrity. Honesty. We have to stand up for ourselves. If we do not do that, no one else is going to do it for us. Here we go. Healing energy. Guys, we talked about the healing the inner child uh, concept. You found healing as soon as you broke free from a connection like this one. Uh, it's pointless to come back to the old battlefield. Uh, we have to choose our battles. We have to avoid to fight battles that we cannot win, you know? Surrender. This is about letting go. Some of you already let go of this connection and of this person. You can be over the connection, guys. It takes courage, especially if the connection was important somehow, some way. Uh, your ex is not over the situation just yet. I think that um, some of you can find the strength and the courage to make clear that uh, the connection is over for good. Then your ex will have to accept the outcome, even if uh, it's not going to be in their favor. Um, if there is another advice uh, that can be good for those of you that can resonate, um, surround yourself with people that can be on your side with people that can be a support mechanism because they can be even a source of help in order to handle the opportunity to interact once again with these ex. Someone that is like a puzzle, you know? Someone that can puzzle you guys, indeed. Fragmentation. I think that some of you can be already tired of the game that this person constantly brought up, you know, along your connection. And this new spark of lust, passion, desire uh, can fade away um, pretty soon, guys, because nothing is going to happen, it seems. My friends, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.